Girl, he told me he left his car in the car. What? I was like 19, 18 or 19. I know it was in 2017. Okay, so I went on a date with this guy that I met. And I met him on Facebook or whatever. And we had been talking for like, I would say like three, four months. And he was like, let me take you out. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like, Let's go to the movies. Let's go to the movies. Let's go out to eat. And let's just do that. So he was like, okay, okay. When do you want to do this? And I'm like, Saturday. So, okay. Saturday comes. And y'all, I'm stressing. Trying to get cute. Like, girl, I'm pulling out all kind of stuff. Like, I think I changed my outfit like three times that day. Like, I did not know what I wanted to wear. So he texted me, he was like, I'm on the bay. So he comes or whatever. And he like, I'm outside. So I get my stuff and I'm out the door. I think I bought, I'm so extra y'all. I bought like two pair of shoes with me. Literally two pair of whole shoes. Like, I had some little cute platform sandals, and then I had some flat shoes. Because I just did not know which ones I wanted to wear. So, y'all, I let him choose for me. Like, so, he chose the platform shoes. So, we in the car. He's driving or whatever. So, he get on that highway. And, y'all, he, he had a sports car. I'm not gonna say which sports car it was, but it's a popular sports car. And this man is speeding for their life, y'all. I'm holding on to my seat belt with everything in me, y'all. I'm sitting here holding on because, y'all, I thought he was gonna kill me on that highway. So, we finally get there. And. We sit in the car for a minute and he like, what movie do you want to see? And I'm like, I don't know what movie I want to see. I just want to watch something funny. Cause y'all, I hate scary movies with a passion. He wanted to watch a scary movie. I was like, hell no. We end up going to see Girls Trick Y'all. And then, y'all, the movie was bomb, like, the movie was the bomb, like, I was enjoying the movie, but let me, let me rewind back, so, he goes to the concession stand, and I'm just like, okay, we about to get some popcorn, we about to get, we about to get some snacks, y'all, I was excited about the snacks, so, yeah, so we in line waiting or whatever. And it's we up next basically. So we walk up to the concession stand. He like you want something and I'm like, I don't know. Cause you know like when you first meet I don't know me. I when I first meet somebody, I'm really shy. So I was like just give me a drink. So this man ordered, he ordered a big drink. He ordered a big thing of popcorn. I just got a little small drink. Y'all, the lady said that the total was like 30 something dollars. He like, he pulls out some cash. I'm like, okay. And he like, he started checking his pockets. I'm like, what are you doing? Girl, he talked about some, he need his car, his car in the car. So I was like, uh-uh. 
Like, you can't even buy me a drink. Like, I ain't want nothing else. I just want a drink. You can't even do that. But, girl, I reached in my purse and I paid whatever the, whatever the risk was. Because, I mean, yeah, it's embarrassing. So, y'all, we get into the movie. That's great one. We get into the movies. Uh, we find a seat or whatever. It's like a little. We was in the top row at the very top in the cut. Like nobody was there. Like it was just not a lot of people in here. So me and him, we get to the top. And okay, we sit down or whatever. And girl, so we have previews. He didn't put his little hand. I'm a little Okay, <laughs> don't be doing too much. So he just put his little hand right here, and he just rubbing my leg. And I'm just like, okay. He grabs my hand. We holding hands and stuff, and I'm just like, okay. Girl, I forgot everybody. I forgot about the concession stand. So we just cool and whatever, and he tries to reach his hand. Where my you high is? I'm like, excuse me. I calmly moved his hand back, and we just watched the movie or whatever. I was laughing, and hey, y'all, I wanted some popcorn, right? I decided I wanted some popcorn at that point, and I'm like, can I have some popcorn? And he over there being stingy with the popcorn. I'm just like put into this popcorn like you gonna give me some popcorn period period you gonna give me some popcorn so he gave me a little bit of popcorn or whatever and i was just like okay that's great too i didn't pay for damn near half the damn popcorn and you come give me a little ass bit of popcorn like the fuck and y'all by the way that damn juice i had was popping popping it was so good y'all movie is over and we walk out the movies and we walk him back to his car so he like so what do you want to eat and i'm like uh i don't know i don't know because you know girl us girls sometimes we like i don't know what i want to eat i don't know because it just depends i just with me it depends on the man's pockets. It depends on what, what his pockets looking like, okay? Because I can be a little expensive when it comes to a meal, baby. Okay? So, we decided, well, I decided, because it was just, he was just, he could not think of names. So, I'm just like, let's go to Chili's. Where the movie theater is, Chili's is like right down the street. So... We go to Chili's or whatever. And we sit, we get the Chili's, we get to a table, we sit down or whatever. And so, this man just goes on and on about his car. Like, he just keeps talking about his car, his car this, his car that. This man was even looking up rims and shit for his damn car. And I'm just like, are we really going to just sit here and talk about your car? Like, you don't want to talk. You don't want to ask me questions about me. But like, I'm trying to ask some questions, trying to get to know him. And he is just going on and on about his car. So I'm just like, does he think that I care about his car? Like, he had, yeah, he had a 2017 in 2017. Like, you doing big things, I see you. But I'm not that kind of girl to be all impressed about your car. Like, I want to get to know you. I want to see how, if the vibe is going to be right. So that was just throwing me off because this man kept talking about his car and I'm just like, your car is nice, but let's get to know each other. Like, that's the reason why we on this date. So he shows me rims and shit. I'm just like, oh, the fuck, K. Like, this is, this is, yeah, this ain't it. Like, I'm not doing this again. So the waiter comes over. And y'all, I don't know why, but I don't know. Maybe it was the allergies because it was the summertime. But y'all, my allergies was fucking like that. Like, 
I was just crying, like crying. And it was looking like he was making me cry. <laughs> Cause the waiter, he came over, he was like, are you okay? I'm just like, yes, like, yes, he's not doing that to me. It's just that this pollen fucked up with my eyes. I'll be all the waiter thought I was, the waiter thought I, he was doing something to me. <laughs> Like, he was checking on me. Like, he was checking on a bitch to make sure a bitch wasn't trying to, you know, making sure a bitch was okay. <laughs> but, y'all, I was fucking crying. <laughs> like, that Paula was beating my ass and I was losing, okay? <laughs> but, yeah. So, we finally get our food or whatever. And, you know how, like, sometimes, like with me, I be scared to eat around a man like when I first meet him like I be scared so I'm just nibbling on chicken and shit knowing I want to fuck that damn chicken up nibbling and shit on damn bread and shit I'm like but y'all this man had him some ribs and y'all he was tearing them ribs the fuck down okay like he was not playing about them ribs okay he was not so I was just like shoot he eat let me eat Y'all, I went to town, okay? I was like, okay, let me stop being bougie. Let me eat this meal, okay? Period. But y'all, one thing I can say, like, he did pay for the he did pay for the meal. But y'all, him not him not paying for this popcorn really made me mad. But y'all, always bring money. Always bring money on a date. I don't care if he tell you that he gonna pay for everything under the sun baby bring some money okay always bring some money with you because this is not the first date that i've been on where i had to i had to pay up honey i had to pay up some, some type of coin so i always bring some money even if they do tell you oh no i'm gonna take you out i'm gonna treat you girl don't listen bring your money so Okay, so we done eating. He paid for the food. We get back in the car. He's taking me home. Y'all. So, we driving. We driving. Like, he listening to music. We talking about music. And then, we finally pull up to my house. Y'all, this man really thought he was about to come in my house. Like, he really thought that... He parked his car and thought he was about to come to my damn house. I'm just like, um, no. What are you doing? He was like, I thought we was about to go in the house. I don't know why the fuck you thought that. Period. I don't know what you thought, but you about to stay your ass in this car. And I was just like, no, we can just sit in the car and talk. And he starts, like, rubbing on me. And y'all, meanwhile, it's broad daylight. It's broad daylight. This man rubbing on me, like, trying to get it popping in the car. Right, I'm just like, no, sir. Like, I don't know what you used to and what you thought, but your little car is not going to get you this, baby. Your car is not going to make me come up off this, period. I don't care what you drive. You can drive a damn Pontiac for all I care. I don't care, like... It's all about the vibe, and that's what men fail to realize. I don't care about what you got on, what you drive, what you where you work. I don't care about none of that. It's about the vibe with me. If we not vibing, we not rocking right, it just won't work for me. I'm a Scorpio. I'm all about vibes. So, yeah, he got mad when I, when I declined his offer. So, like, got in the house and went on by my business and y'all I did not I did not hear back from him at all because and I went I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying either I went and, you know we just I guess both of us realized that the vibe was just not there he he wanted some else and I went and bought that okay so girl that was <laughs> one of the worst dates I've ever been on <laughs> but y'all always bring money okay always because honey they will just be checking their pockets like 
I left my car in the car like, go get it. <laughs> Baby, I'll wait. What we doing? I got plenty of time to wait for you to go get your um, car, wallet, whatever you got need. I got plenty of time to wait. So, girl, go bring you some money. Period. And y'all, that concludes my story today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you want to see. Comment down below if you've ever been on a horrible date, girl. Let me know. Let me know some tea. All right? And like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video.